Here are the latest warnings. With all these areas at risk of flash flooding, this is tonight and tomorrow as that main heavy band pushes right on through. Melbourne will see rain, but not heavy falls. But we are on flood watch, along with the northeast now too, as rivers are expected to rise with this new rain. And these rivers are already in flood, with moderate flooding in both, in both the Glenelg and Loddon rivers. Around the nation tomorrow, we have wet weather through the southeast and it is heavy in Adelaide, a top of 16. It is 23 thunderstorms possible in Sydney. But it's dry and mostly sunny in Perth tomorrow. To Victoria, rain pushes across the state. It's heaviest north of the ranges in the east. It does dry up in behind that band before showers redevelop and spread through, mainly in the west and north of the state. Closer in, and we have persistent rain during the morning, but it will rapidly clear around lunchtime with a mostly dry afternoon. This is just the risk of showers. You can see they are mainly in the northern suburbs. It is still cold during the morning rain, but the breaks in the afternoon should let it rise right up to 16 in the city. To the eight-day outlook, and it's cold and showery for much of Thursday with that wraparound as that low finally moves away. Then temperatures rise, 17 on Friday, 18 on Saturday. That is to start. We'll have a new change come through with a burst of showers. Dry on Sunday and Monday, warming up, warm on Tuesday before our next rain system arrives. So we are cold and wet with rain tomorrow morning. The afternoon is quite dry and that should let us rise up to 16. Mitch.